Okay guys, so I get this question asked so many times, how to get clients as a web designer? And to be honest, there are literally hundreds of ways to do so and they all depend on your own set of circumstances. So clearly there is no one size fits all answer here, but that's okay because I've got you covered. Basically, I've decided to start a new series to answer that very question. So let me introduce you to how to get clients as a web designer, series one, episode one. And every week I'll be delivering a fresh new tip to help you land those clients. So if you want to make sure you don't miss out, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay, so let me introduce you to tip number one. Okay, so there are a lot of web designers that also provide logo design and graphic design as part of their services. On the other hand, there are very few graphic designers that also offer web design services. And yet, these graphic designers are asked many times a month if they can design websites. And they have to say no to that question and turn on that business. So here is what you do. You need to find graphic designers in your area that don't provide web design services. So you go on Google Maps and look for graphic designers near me and then go through a few of these, you know, open their website and see what type of services they offer. And if they don't provide web design services, then you contact them and offer them a partnership only between you and them. That's all. And here is how this partnership is beneficial to the both of you. So from the graphic designer's side, each time they're asked if they can build a website, now they can say yes. Now they found this out to you. You charge them at trade price. The graphic designer adds his profit margin on top and that's basically it. Now in return, when you need a logo design, instead of spending time on that yourself, you farm that out to the graphic designer, they charge you at trade price, you add your profit margin on top, and there you have it, a mutually beneficial partnership between you, a web designer, and a graphic designer. So now I'm sure you're probably wondering, should you partner with more than one graphic designer, maybe five or 10 of them, this way you'll get more work, right? Now, to be honest, I can't answer that question for you. It's really up to you to decide what you think is best. But please let me know in the comment section. What do you think? Should you partner with more than one graphic designer or not? OK, guys, so that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this. This was Series 1, Episode 1 of How to Get Clients as a Web Designer.